the first time in history, Bali, the world-famous tourism destination of our motherland, is having a toll road. Crossing over Banoa Bay, the road will be the main connector of the Golden Triangle region, Nusa Dua, Ngurarai and Banoa. The 10-kilometer toll road above the sea, built with a green, strong and beautiful concept, will become the effective solution to cope with traffic congestion in Bali. What a pride that this masterpiece road is 100% made by Indonesia. Bali, paradise for many, known as Pulau Dewata, island of the gods. Hospitality of its locals, beauty of its nature, and the rich atmosphere of its tradition and culture, which has strong roots, has placed Bali as a world-class tourism place. Destinations in Bali have never been without visitors. More than six million domestic and international tourists flood Bali each year. The number is always increasing every year. All this time, the only access connecting various locations in northern and southern Bali is the Ngura Rai Bypass. The rapid access connecting various locations in northern and southern Bali, the rapid growth of tourism, which is parallel with the increasing number of tourists, has caused traffic congestion. Before the APEC high-level conference takes place, the government must think about the alternative road to avoid traffic congestion, which is getting difficult to cope with. However, constructing alternative roads on land is in fact nearly impossible. Therefore, road construction above the sea was alternatively considered. PT Jasamaga Pacero DBK as the first state-owned business entity and experienced in toll road management, along with Palindo 3 and Kasapuru 1, and PT Pengambangan Parubizata Bali formed a consortium. Then joining them were three leading state-owned contractors, Wijaya Karia, Adi Karia and Hutama Karia, who synergized to form a joint venture, PT Jasamaga Bali Toll. Later merging as shareholders with the Bali Provincial Government and Badung Regency Government. On December 16, 2011, PT Jasamaga Bali Toll and Toll Road Regulatory Board signed a toll road construction agreement after having won the investment tender with a 45-year concession. This first toll road project in Bali has spent 2.5 trillion investment budget, where 30% of it is equity or self-fund capital and the other 70% or 1.7 trillion is loaned from a six bank syndicate consisting of Bank Mandiri, BNI, Bank BRI, BCA, Bank BTN and Bank BPD Bali. March 1, 2012, the construction of Bali Toll started. Macharu ceremony was performed. Balinese locals are enthusiastically welcoming the first toll construction while wishing for safety prayers to Sang Hyang Widi. As the holder of the development rights from technical planning, funding, construction, operation and maintenance, PT Jasamaga Bali Toll divides the development into four sections. Each work in parallel and simultaneously to accelerate the work. PT Jasamaga Bali Toll is faced on time challenge, technical obstacles and location points. In order to cope with the short working period, the construction is divided into four sections. The first section is handled by Adi Karia. Section 2 and 4 are handled by Waskita Karia. Meanwhile, Section 3 is handled by Hutama Karia. The bridge carries the concept of green, strong and beautiful, while the contract system imposed was design and build, meaning each contractor carried out their planning, construction and supervision 
but conducted under the coordination of P.T. Jasamaga Bali Toll. The construction of the toll was undertaken in a number of stages. It began with spun pile ground breaking, pile cutting, pile head or pile cap erection, girder erection, slab erection, slab connectors, parapet or road barriers erection, asphalting, to traffic signs installation, road marking, street lamp lighting and the installation of toll gate. All stages of the construction were performed in parallel. All contractors worked at the same time and worked simultaneously. Met during the pile driving, the other processes such as precast slab production and pile head or pile cap driving, slab and asphalting were also conducted. The condition demanded a parallel and simultaneous material supply chain. All the construction processes are supervised by quality assurance consultants. All pile materials are brought from Java, such as from Suban, Karawan, Surabaya and Pasuruan. Considering the construction work time, which is limited, the pile distribution is carried over land. The construction location of Bali Toll above the waters becomes a special challenge for the project executors. The depth of the sea, which is not maximal, makes material distribution difficult. The use of large pontoons, which is not balanced with the water depth volume, gives the risk of crashing out. The Nusa Dua Ngura Raya Benoa Toll Road is finally in operation and serving the people. Other than providing car lanes, this glorious toll road also provides special lanes for motorcycles, equipped with electronic payment facility and CCTVs to monitor traffic condition. Regarding fluctuating wind speed over the bridge, the management has also prepared wind speed monitor. Road closing will be performed whenever wind condition is not conducive and having high risk towards the safety of the people riding. As a symbol of the completion of toll road construction, a Malaspa ceremony was held as a form of gratitude and praying that this toll road will give benefit for the people's welfare. On September 23, a button pushing is performed by the President, Susilo Bambang Yudoyono. The President also gives a name for this first toll road in Bali by the name of Toll Bali Mandara and it also supported the APEC high-level conference in Bali in October 2013, which is attended by 21 countries. The Bali Mandara Toll Road has also been passed on by Miss World contestants from 130 countries. For the first time, a mega construction is stretching above Bali waters. The exotics of Balinese nature are now even completed with this giant bridge a masterpiece of our nation's children, standing beautifully. It is one of the assets being proud of by Balinese people. The tourism sector, which has supported Bali economy all these years, will be even greater with this safe, comfortable and majestic road access.